I have been working on uh, China, China Pakistan Economic Corridor, uh, which is a very important project, uh, a part of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative in Pakistan. And under the CPEC, uh, Beijing has been financing infrastructure projects in Pakistan, uh, building power plants, establishing special economic zones. And I have been looking uh, what have been the impacts of these projects since they have started in 2013, uh, almost 10 years now. Uh, the two governments, they are um, celebrating 10 years of CPEC. Uh, previously, I was based at the DIA, and I worked on my book uh, that was later published from Routledge. Uh, and now I'm also planning to uh, conclude my research here and to publish it as a book. Uh, I'm working with the Stephen Klingible and Department by and Multilateral Development Corporation. Uh, and previously, and again, I'm having very exciting, very productive stay at IDOS. Uh, my research shows that there are several perspectives about the BRI in many countries. Uh, it's a reality that China has uh, constructed, it has built uh, lots of infrastructure in Pakistan and in many other countries in Africa, in Latin America, in Southeast Asia, in Central Asia, of course. Uh, and of course, there are different perspectives of different uh, countries about that. For example, the, the EU came up with the Global Gateway, the G7 came up with the uh, Build Back Better Plan, Build Back Better World. Uh, so let's see how it uh, unfolds in, in future. But overall, it's a very interesting um, project. It has really ignited uh, attraction of global academia, policy think tanks and media, and it has attracted a lot of focus.